a convicted killer with a life sentence has escaped from Mississippi prison for the second time. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If you like this kind of content, you want to hear more, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And let's get right into it. So you heard that right on that intro, man. This guy was convicted of murder and uh, it's like the highest crime you can possibly get. But yet he has managed to escape not once, but twice. As always, got the computer down here with the article to bring you the latest. Um, so this headline is from New York Post, actually. And the uh, headline says, Convicted killer escapes Mississippi prison for second time since 2018. So as you can see, this guy right here put an image up on the screen. He was convicted of killing two people. Um, doesn't really say what the crime how it all happened or anything but his name is michael floyd wilson he's 51 years old so instead of getting right into the one that he's out on right now they still haven't caught this guy um i'm going to go back and read about the first one so it says he's serving a life sentence for a 2014 double murder in harrison county so several staffers at central mississippi correctional facility have been placed on administrative leave pending disciplinary action so apparently this most recent escape which was from central mississippi correctional facility uh apparently they helped him at least they either helped him or they've been found to be at real bad fault for the reason why he got out so let's see uh made a dashing a daring dash sorry from central mississippi correctional facility by climbing over a 12-foot fence topped with razor wire the clarion ledger reported citing a state department of corrections spokesman um, Wilson suffered cuts to his hands and arms during the escape and managed to get treated and released twice from an area hospital. This dude is like Harrison Ford in The Fugitive, man. Oh, okay. So his first escape, I said I was going to say that one first, but it just didn't work out that way. So uh, he first fled from South Mississippi uh, Correctional Institution July the 5th, 2018. So, oh shit, this no Central and South. Okay, so it was a different one. First, he was at the South Mississippi Correctional Institution, and the second time he was at Central Mississippi. Okay, uh, so he did that July the 5th. They captured him two days later. So, as of the writing, let's see, this was written on the 15th. Damn, that's today. So, I think he escaped. When did it say? When did it say? Well, I guess it didn't. He's been he's been escaped at least for a couple of days. But man, how crazy is that story? Uh, convicted of murder, got the maximum sentence, life, um, the highest crime. But you escape obviously what's going to be two maximum security prisons because I highly doubt that they're going to put a convicted killer that fresh of a sentence into a medium or even a lower anything. So maximum stop cat, maximum security prisons. Um, two of them and then managed to get seen at the hospital twice and still didn't get caught so he must have been cut up pretty bad because that razor wire will will mess you up but anyway ladies and gentlemen i know it's a short video but that's that's about all there is you can just google uh escape convict mississippi to keep up with it i'll try to keep you guys posted on whether or not he gets caught or whatever i probably won't do a whole nother video on it but i will at least mention it in one of my next videos and that's it, the latest in the world of prison and correction. So hope you guys enjoyed the content. Until next time.